All right, so last night my uh, Ender 3 Pro started getting a thermal runaway. Uh, I shut it off, let it go for the night, didn't want to uh, mess with it. And then this morning it started giving me a whole bunch of power outages. So uh, I did a little bit of research, couldn't find really a lot. So I decided to go ahead and uh, make this video to show you guys how we can fix that on the Ender 3 Pro. Stay tuned. Right, so almost everything that I found was telling me that it was the uh, probably the third mister uh, was having issues. So I looked it up, couldn't find much of uh, you know what to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart, see what is wrong with the third mister, and then make a make an assessment. First, we gotta take the uh, hot end cover. Just two little bolts right there. All right, so those little wires, those little white wires, I don't think you can see them from there, but those little white wires right here are your uh, thermistor wires. So what we gotta do is we gotta remove the hot end. Two screws. Then we'll turn it over to his side. Oh, I got some build up here. Didn't even see before. All right, so from what I could gather online, my issue's gotta be in this, this right here. This there, mister right there. So I'm gonna go ahead, loosen it up. This should be, yeah, this should be finger tight. Okay, this should not be any tighter than that. So if you get it and it's, you cannot twist it or turn it with just your fingers, then you got problems. All that is doing is making sure that the, the, the little thermistor in there doesn't come out. That's the only thing that it's doing. Okay, so that right there, inside there, is what you wanna check out. So we're gonna take this uh, screw, loosen it up. Push from this end, take that out. I've never taken this apart, that's why it's so tight in there. And then we'll
we just loosen this up some more. And then all you have to do is just pull the wires. And then check the thermistor out. Well, I see a lot of uh, dust setting in there. So that could be part of the problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a good clean in there. You gotta be really careful with those wires though. Give it a good clean on the wire itself as well. Again, be very careful with these wires. And then we'll go ahead and put it back in. Thermistor back in there. We'll tighten it. You just finger tight. That's it. That's all it takes. Make sure this is flushed. We'll get the screw that goes in there. Make sure it's nice and set in there so it doesn't go out flying. We'll hold this flush with your finger. Loosen it up a little bit, so flush it some more. All right, and that's in there. I gotta give that a clean as soon as I get this uh, hot and hot. All right, so now put this back on. And we'll go ahead and set this the hot end in place. Finger tighten it, and then we'll go ahead and tighten it with our uh, with the Allen wrench. Using the wrong, the wrong Allen wrench. 
we'll go ahead and put those on there. We tighten it. You want to kind of finger type the first one and then come back with the second one. Tighten it a little bit tighter just to make sure that it's situated exactly where it needs to be and not sideways or a little bit off. All right, and then we'll go ahead and put the cover back on. This is also two screws, one right there, one right there. Is also you want to give yourself a little wiggle room to get the second screw in there. It's right here on the side. Tighten it all the way. All right, let's try it out. All right, so he's staying in there. Maybe that went ahead and fixed it. So I'll have to get a print going. And then uh, we'll see how it goes. Hey, while you guys are here, just give me, give me, do me a solid and uh, subscribe, like, watch my videos, turn that little bell on, uh, so it reminds you when, uh, when I put new videos out, I usually try to put them out every Friday. Okay, so it's been printing for an hour, and uh, after me checking the thermistor uh, and cleaning all that out, it has not stopped. No issues, no errors, no runaways, no power failure, none of that. All right, so just check that before you go out and uh, start buying stuff. Don't forget to subscribe and like.